We flew into Phu Quoc from Ho Chi Minh City. It was an easy flight, only about an hour away. Are you considering Phu Quoc, Vietnam for your next vacation? We spent six days exploring beaches, theme parks, markets and more on our family holiday. We really enjoyed our stay at the Waves Resort. It was close to the beach, the rooms were comfortable, breakfast was included and the pool was right outside your door. Check in the description for the link to the Waves. Definitely consider it on your next trip to Phu Quoc. The King Kong Supermarket here in Phu Quoc. Well I must say that was quite the experience in there. It's very packed, very full. Expect the line to be long. So we've just arrived in Phu Quoc. We checked into our little resort which is called The Waves. And we of course had hungry teens. So we needed to go for a quick walk, find a supermarket, buy our big. So first night in Phu Quoc, we've headed down to the Phu Quoc, Phu Quoc night market here to have a look at what's on offer. There's plenty of food and stalls selling, you know, bags and food and different types of goods that you can buy. So we're on the hunt to find something nice. There's a ton of seafood for sale down here, but uh, three of us out of the four don't really like seafood too much. So we're on the hunt for maybe something different that everyone will like, but there's certainly plenty on offer down here. If you're not familiar with a banh mi, a banh mi is a traditional Vietnamese bread roll. It's a really crispy bread roll filled with different types of meat, carrots, cucumber, coriander, chilies and more. If you don't really like chili, ask for no chili because they can be really hot. Ways Resort was only a few hundred metres away from Long Beach. Long Beach is a great place to go swimming. It's got a sandy bottom, it's got really next to no waves, and you'll find plenty of places to eat and drink right on the beach. Hey guys, so tonight we're heading down the beach for to hopefully get one of the legendary sunsets that you get here in Phu Quoc Island. So we're going to find one a nice bar and grab ourselves a drink and watch the sun come down over the waters here. So we've just arrived at Vin Wonders here in Phu Quoc. It's a theme park, but it's designed like a fairy tale village. So we're gonna go in, have a look. It looks like there's some gnarly uh, rides, big Ferris wheels, different lands, and there's an aquarium in here. So there's all types of things to keep families uh, amused on a day out in Phu Quoc. It's about 20 kilometers out of the main area where we're staying. You can either get a bus or we got the grab in and we'll take the bus back because we didn't want to be farting around trying to figure out where the uh, bus picked up from. Vin Wonders theme park is full of all types of rides from fast and thrilling rides for older kids to easy going rides for smaller kids. There's also an aquarium in there, which is really good. They have daily shows going on, lots of sharks, different fish to see. You can spend hours at Vin Wonders. Vin Wonders on Phu Quoc is the largest theme park in Vietnam. Look, you'll certainly spend a whole day there. There's plenty, of, plenty to see and plenty to do. Uh, it's one of the really top attractions on the island for families. Well, 
our day at Vin Wonders is coming to an end. We spent about six hours here, went on a lot of rides. Uh, really thankful there wasn't many people around because that enabled us to get on and off rides pretty quickly. Really good place to come if you're in Phu Quoc. Okay, so we've moved on from Vin Wonders and now we're at Vin Pearl Grand World. Okay, this morning we've got uh, some fried eggs, spaghetti bolognese, we've got some Vietnamese chicken rice, nice crunchy baguette, and Vietnamese coffee to drink. What are you drinking this morning? I've got the tea, and it's actually delicious. Oh, iced tea. Mm. <laughs> This was more of a locals wholesale market selling fruits, vegetables, clothing, hardware, stuff like that. Somewhere where there wasn't many tourists when we went there, but we were glad we went and had a look around. It was a real traditional sort of feeling Vietnamese market that you don't see at the uh, tourist friendly night markets and such. Well worth going to have a look to see how the locals shop and live and buy. Phu is all about the sunsets here because the beach are what people come to the island for. Really nice sandy, sit down at a bar, have a rum and coconut milk cocktail. It doesn't get any better than this. Our cable car at Sunworld. One of the most truly memorable things you can ever do on Phu Quoc is to catch the Hon Thom cable car. It takes you from the southern end of Phu Quoc Island over to the southern Pearl Islander. It's 15 minutes long. It's the longest three-wire cable car in the world. It takes you over water islands until you eventually land at Sunworld Phu Quoc, which is an island that's got a theme park on it, water park, roller coasters, it's just totally amazing. The scenery just blew me away the whole way. So we're at Sunworld and we've just ventured onto the Lazy River. It's the first ride of the day for us. Tickets to Sunworld are all inclusive. They include your cable car ride over, the amazing cable car ride, entry to the water park, all the rides, and they also include a free buffet lunch that comes with part of the deal. So really good value for families, couples, anyone who's having a holiday on Phu Quoc Island. While Marley climbed halfway up, had a look, decided to come back down. Couldn't do it. <laughs> so lining up to get back on the cable car has proved to be pretty hectic here. There's uh, lots of people all trying to get back on the 330 cable car at once.
4,000 prisoners were killed here between 1967 and 1973. Mainly North Vietnamese soldiers and Viet Cong soldiers were here. They were tortured, they were killed, they were disabled. There were some horror, horror, horror acts that happened. On this site, uh, not unlike other sites around the world in times of war, Okay, so we've arrived at Sao Beach here on the other side of the island to where we're staying. Just thought we better pop over and have a look at what it's like this side of the island. Seems far more windier. Ocean's rougher. Still plenty of bars, restaurants and places to get a drink though. Spending around half an hour here at uh, Sayo Beach on this side of the island. I'm not overly convinced that it's any better than the beaches on the other side of the island. It's just a point of difference. They've got some jet skis over here, but other than that, um, either side of the island, the beaches are good and the water's nice. reached the harbour here at Fu Quoc and we're just waiting to board our boat. There's a few down here so I think we're going to the one that says John's fishing boat. We booked a squid fishing and dinner boat tour through Kluke. Uh, it was a lot of fun, actually. We got to try and catch some squid. The food was really nice, and we met some great people on board that we shared a meal with. It was a really good night. time at Phu Quoc. Airport has nearly come to an end. We have been so lucky, even though we missed our flight, a lady's just let us sit in her um, cafe for a little while, so we've just bought food and drinks as we've gone along. It's been really good. Uh, toilets were right near us. I'm just going to show you what we had um, to eat because it was actually delicious. I'll see if I can turn the camera around. So this is where we got our food from. It comes out on a metal tray comes with a side of vegetables. We got this pork dish this morning. That's a fish one which we didn't get. It comes with a small bowl of soup and a small bowl of rice. The condiments are here. We loved our time on Phu Quoc and we highly recommend you go and visit. It's a great place to relax and explore all at once in Vietnam. <laughs>